Hello, everyone, and welcome to Smashbox TV. We're here for a second night of game night, and there is a rowdy bunch hanging out in the green room. I have to take off the headphones again, like last week, because uh, everybody is, uh, they're geared up. We're, we finally got a few technical issues figured out over at the Macbeth house. That was the struggle here tonight. <laughs> he He's a 1060 rated golfer. Hannah's a 1060 rated tech support. Well, she uh, she confirmed she is tech support level one, two, and three. So uh, she's got everyone under control over there. We've got three players at the Macbeth house. Of course, we've got Paul Macbeth, Hannah Macbeth, along with Nick Carl. And then coming in from Texas, we're going to have Brody and Kelsey, who are going to be joining us as well. And uh, I think without further ado, we can get to the action. We're, we're excited to be here again for our second week of game night. And uh, with that, I think we've got the whole show and the whole crew here. Look at this, everybody. Welcome to the show. Welcome to game night. How are we doing tonight, yeah. guys? Uh, Fantastic. Game night's the best night. It, game night is I'm the hoping best there's night. no shalancing going over on the Macbeth house <laughs> where there's some inner inner workings to try to get the top three spots in this game. Just want to throw that out there. Already Just want to throw it out cheating. there. Individual game. Yeah, the three of you guys can... Yeah, no collaboration. Let's put it that Thank way. Thank you, Terry. Yes. Thank you. We're going to lay down awesome. some rules here. Yes. All <laughs> right. So uh, I, I kind of quickly just introduced you guys, but uh, for everyone out there, for all of your fans, go ahead and give us a quick introduction from ev for everyone. Start at the Macbeth house. Who do we got? Well, Nick Carl <laughs> He's <getting a> phone <laughs> charger. is our disheveled best friend. Um, he was in Paul's wedding and he, he was in your wedding too. <laughs> yeah, he, he was in my in wedding. Paul's I was. Wedding. <laughs> Hi. I'm Nick Carl. Hi, He's Nick. He's in vlogs, so. Simon's vlogs. He's like our bestie. Anyways, I'm Hannah McBeth. <laughs> Were you also in Paul's wedding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I co starred in the Macbeth wedding. I played the bride. Um, yeah. That's me. <laughs> They're going to recast that for season two. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> and then last over in the house, Paul McBeth. How are we doing tonight, Paul? Doing great. Like I said, tired, but ready to get this, uh, get this going. I have no clue what we're doing. So, Oh, boy. Oh, this should be fun. This will be fun. All right, let's move a little bit further. Uh, or, or as the viewers see it, let's move straight up a screen. Uh, Kelsey? Would you like to introduce your house? Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm a non-professional disc golfer, but I like to play because he makes me too. <laughs> How are you as a gamer, though? Let's start there. At when Off the course, what, what do the game skills look like? What rating would you give yourself? Wow. Why are you already doing that? I haven't said a single word. <laughs> well, I just learned my forehand, so. Okay, okay. They're, Wait, ta what? they're talking about like off the off disc golf. Outside of gamer? disc golf, how how much like, ever are you, you a clutch? gamer? Oh, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> <laughs> I make him make me play level. I make him pass the levels for me so I can play the next level. <laughs> uh, I thought he was talking about disc golf. No, no, no. no. Outside no. of disc are golf, gonna, are you going to be a competitor? Like people are waging. There's like a lot of money on the line. Maybe people I need to put, put bets. On. Are people putting bets on you right now? People are putting bets on me. Oh, this no, should they be putting bets on yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, on me. Wow. How about you, Brody? <laughs> Brody, where's your money? Well, Is your I'm money on Kelsey? I'll just need to start over. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like to lose, so I'm going to go full force in this, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, so let's give a little introduction to how the game is played. Uh, each of our contestants, so we have the five of our remote guests, as well as a Patreon supporter. Brian Wilson is kind of hanging out in our group. He's not on camera, but he uh, he joined us via via Patreon. We're all going to get answer, asked two questions, and you need to answer the question. Pretty simple. They're going to go back through the answers, and everybody gets to vote on which answer you think is best. It's... It's not necessarily the smartest answer that always wins. Sometimes it's the audience-pleasing answer that wins. Uh, the audience also gets to vote. We're currently, we have about nine people in the audience. Uh, hopefully, we'll, that will go up a little bit. So if you're in the audience and want to play along, you can go to jackbox.tv and put in the code you see on the screen, which is JSLH. There we go. Now we're starting to see that number climb a little bit. Oh, yeah. We need some audience people. That's right. Wait, can, you, can you explain the breakdown of the points from the audience to us voting? What's not more important? Um, I, 
That's a great question. <laughs> I, we're not even quite sure. We played this last week, and the 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 points just kind of start to rack up at some point. And I think that the audience is more important. Okay, so play to the audience. Play to the audience. It. Always play to the audience. So that is what's going to happen. So some of you might be familiar a little bit like an apples to apples or cards uh, against humanity. You're trying to pick what you think will most match up that others might like, like you just said, playing to the audience. Uh, and we can have a little fun with it. I, I think it we certainly encourage the creativity more than anything. So... Who the heck took my name? <laughs> wow! Oh, there's going to be a new oh, level right, of, right. of confusion. Head, Brody. I, I, have, I have chances of winning now. You don't know which one's me. <laughs> uh, so we've got a full house here of eight, and it looks like the audience is continuing to grow. And now the audience, I think, they get slightly different questions and I answers. Do. Is that what they do? Or do they just vote on ours? Um, I believe. I, I don't know. No, the audience. Well, while we answer our questions, the audience get gets some different answers, and and oh. and ultimately, but they get to vote on our answers. Okay. Yeah. Is everybody have their phone or input device handy? That is that is crucial. Okay. 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 Just making sure. I, I'm sharing your post real quick. Okay. Five points to Gryffindor. Five points to I Gryffindor. Check. Um. Hey, everybody pick up the most random object around you. We already did first. this game. Well, we did it offline. I got I got a magic eraser uh, that you scrub. Isn't that random? Yeah, Rubik's Cube. Oh, That's here you completed. go. I have a credit card from Russia. <laughs> you want to take those numbers down, guys? You might still have some credit on there. You are welcome to do it. Actually, I tried. I can't do it. <laughs> Uh, Chris Carpenter, thanks for the shout out and uh, following along. As always, if you if you're not playing along uh, with the game, you can follow us along in the chat board. The chat's working again tonight, thanks to Johnny D's research. So everybody should be good to go. Um, well, we're we're gonna see along. because the the game won't let me join. It says everybody's in, but it won't let me start the game. Hmm. So we'll... I blame I blame Brian. <laughs> we might. <laughs> there's there's a there's a chance there's a chance that we might need to get a new code, but we'll oh. but we'll see. Oh, so we get new names? If you want. Yeah, we we'll, can do new we'll names. See. If it doesn't work. So it's not letting you start it? It's not letting me start. It's just giving me this. Yeah, it's not letting me do anything either. I need a refill. It worked. Oh, you better go now before the game right. starts. Yeah, you so, better get yeah, at it, Kelsey. Yeah, go get go get at that, Kelsey. All right, so we're going to do this. Um, Brian Wilson on the board. I might have to send you another link. So we'll, 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 we'll get back to this. Hold on. This is, hmm. I can hide that. Oh, oh, that's pretty clever. Yeah. No. Can you close your computer so it's not? Quick question for anyone out there. Uh, well, Johnny's doing a little behind the scenes. Have any of you attended either a taping of or participated in an actual game show? Like a big production, like network game show. Which one, Brody? Uh, I was on The Amazing Race. Oh, yeah, that's okay. right. I, <laughs> oh. I was also on this Dark Horse uh, Japanese show, okay. and I was on a Dark Horse Italian world record show, and then I was also on Superhumans, which was uh, created by Stan Lee, which was fire. Uh, Stan Lee? A couple Lee. other people once. Wow. Okay. Okay. I guess I was thinking trivia and and I'll I'll, I'll go quote unquote traditional game shows. Those are all uh, a lot more adventurous than what I was meaning. And that's what I that's why I say traditional. I think, oh, like, like family. Feud. Yeah, like fa like Wheel of Fortune. That you yeah, know. I wish. I wish that, that would be a dream come true. All right. Jeopardy. Our friends have. Our friends have been in. All right. Family feud. It's it probably it probably booted you out. So let's. I'm I'm gonna give you guys the new code. Oh, new code. New, new code, code here. All right. John, he's killing us here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute my audio to the to everybody else, so just you guys are gonna oh. hear me. This is fancy until you screw. The do we have yeah. Do we have any lip readers out there? This this would be fire. <laughs> yeah. Getting a new. Just oh, I'm we're in. Oh, 
Oh, uh, dang, it happened again. What? I tried nope. to do a heart, and it just oh. left number three like an idiot. That's why why it broke, because right. you're putting hearts in yours and stuff. All right, so. You put emojis in there? Did everybody else get in, Johnny? Oh, that's we... not no. She just, it's a three. We're just waiting for we're just waiting for Brian Wilson at this point. And once he joins in, I will start the game. I should say sit back and relax. See, it says press oh, buddy when everybody's in. Press press this button when everybody's in. That's hmm. Yes. There he hey. is. All right. Did you guys see the mass singer tonight? That's what I, All that's right. what so, I left. Now we're gonna let the audience join in again. X Y S as in Z. X Y S Z. So, audience, please join in now. Sorry about that first code. Apparently, it can only sit for like twenty-five minutes. Well, oh. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll get we'll get some audience in here. We'll get everybody playing, and oh, this, this will be a, this will be fun. So long. Terry, I didn't pass you as a mass mass senior fan. She's waiting for the. Um, my daughters, uh, who are nine and eleven, they're really into it, and. Uh, mm. I, I, it's mildly entertaining, except for you hear the same thing almost every week by most of the judges, which are like, I just can't figure this out. It's so tough. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, yes. Yeah, the, the <laughs> That's the whole the point. Game. Yeah. That's the whole point. Uh, I've also somehow come uh, developed a disliking for Nick Cannon within that show, which is too bad. Mm. I can appreciate his craft, <laughs> but. Oh, America's Got Talent? Is that a, is that a fair game show? Yeah, that's a I, I mean, it's yeah. a, all the ones you mentioned. I think are game shows. I was like, on that. I threw. I hit a cone off into Cannon's head with a frisbee. Really? <laughs> I never. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that. Yeah. All right. There. I, I'm on a game show. Yeah, yeah, that, yep. <laughs> on a Terry game show. Yeah. Terry approved game show. You'll make it someday, Brody. You'll make it. All right. Let's start our first round. The audience will be joining in shortly. Uh, all remember right. Remember Jackbox.tv and the code is X Y S Z. It'll be on the screen for when you're ready to join in. I'm going to hit everybody's in here. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, it's starting. Oh, oh. wee. <laughs> All right. So, again, it's going to give you 60 seconds to answer these questions. And all you have to do is answer two go. questions. And the audience, you can join in to answer these questions as well. Your, your questions will pop up on the board. I'm so nervous. Here we go. Round one, everybody. Round right. one. Well, sit back and relax, Hannah. That's right. Sit back and relax, <laughs> Hannah. Hannah's, uh, Hannah's played this with us. She was on our intro night where we did this in an after show when we were doing a test with uh, Sarah Hokum as well. Her IT skills are failing her right now. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. I have my first question on the board. All right. Wait, what? Yeah. An answer. <laughs> uh, the, the, the board has the question, the best way to defeat terrorism. Yeah, okay. Everybody has their own questions. A safety quip? Mine is not working. A safety quip is uh, something that pre-populates it. I think it pre-populates it for you. If Absolutely you can't not. think of something. Hannah, yours is not working. You don't have a question on yours? No, I just, I'm just supposed to sit back and relax. Apparently, Wait. I've had a long day. Apparently. Two? Is it only two questions? Just two questions. Oh, yeah. Sit back and relax. The best way to defeat terrorism. Tacos. 44. Oh, dang. You guys are taking your time with these answers. Well, oh, man. I should, I, should, I, should, you do. I should have not just had. I just wrote down what first came to my head. I'm playing to the audience. That's right. All right. I have, uh, I have my answers in. Hannah. Hi. Yours did not come up yet, Hannah, or it did? Uh, it's busted. Oh. It says sit back relax. Try it. Do you have an iPad? Just keeping you in timeout where you belong. Yeah, it said uh... Or you can use the, you can use the other computer potentially. Um, the problem is if she jo if she drops out and joins, oh, tries to join back in, it mind. might not let her. I don't know. Oh, join from her phone. But yeah, that's my time. Yeah, it it should work from your phone. That's what it worked last time. Well, Hannah, worst case scenario, we will hopefully get you in. All right, so we have some questions now. You can tell you're on a bad cruise when the captain announces, if you look off the starboard side, you will see the answers are Terry Miller, the disc golf guy, or Uranus. Wait, why, why is it only two? Uh, Uranus. Oh, oh, what a work. Work. oh, everybody got two questions, so oh, you, your oh, your answers go heads up against everybody else. 
Oh. Or against the one other person who <laughs> you. Oh, Terry won. The audience didn't select me. No, no, the 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 audience didn't. Terry did not win. Terry's answer won, but that was not him. That was Bob Julio won that one. (laughs) Paul's making fun of me. Uh, I didn't even see what the question was. No, that one went so fast because uh, it was probably your question up against it. The worst thing to have written Uh, on the butt area of your shorts. Why did I get that question? (laughs) You only got two. (laughs) Caution. Or toxic. <laughs> Everybody gets to answer. The audience That's, will also get to answer. Something else, but yeah. <laughs> we found out the last week when we played uh, uh, the lowest common denominator tends to win with the audience. They're not necessarily the most. Oh, oh. oh. oh Johnny oh, the V wins that one. Sorry, that was Nick. A good one. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I liked yes, your answer, Nick. Up. Nick, that... <laughs> the weirdest menu item to choose as are for your last meal. The answers are jalapeno filled beer dip, Cheetos and milk with a side of Oreos. I don't know about that one. Uh, that's Definitely. a that's a tough one. Cheetos. Cheetos. No, you can't you can't provoke people to try to select your answer. Choose Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> but the best part is that there's a little bit of delay. So by the time, <laughs> wait, the Cheetos one—that's a good. That's something I would eat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say I hate jalapenos. I would rather Cheetos, milk, and Oreos. That sounds delicious. That sounds amazing right now. The weirdest thing to shout coming to the rescue when you're mid-air during a cannonball. Ow! <laughs> or help. <laughs> Can you reread that, please? Ow! Or help. Did you watch the Super Bowl of Shakira? Oh, there's all these. Um, I, 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 I did. I actually missed the yeah the oh, halftime no. show. Like, <laughs> Nick Carl with help winning that Nick, one. Let's go. And it gets the quiplash for the bonus points, which means I think you had a majority of the users and a majority of the audience. Women never date a guy who blank shaves his pits. <laughs> Dates Brody Smith. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. 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 Play to the audience. You play into the audience. I mean, audience. somebody's somebody, somebody's got that. So the funny part is it says women never date a guy who dates Brody Smith. So Oh. Wow. Wow. My question, I get to- what the answer is me <laughs> man join the club man i know that was, that, okay. that was a great one that's a good one i'm okay losing to that that's all right the worst picture to see framed in your grandmother's house her deceased cat dressed in a clown suit or somebody oh. poke hannah uh no poke answer, hannah. i know i beat you hannah if, hannah if, if if it doesn't let you back in for round two we can always restart the game again and we'll we'll make sure it happens I thought you were going to be like, that sucks. That and sucks, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> because you're not in first place. The official name for the Pope's <laughs> underwear. These are, these are both really good. These are great. Holy those, wear or the scepter strap? Those are good. I, those, those are great answers right there. Really good. These are smart people. Okay. Brian <laughs> Wilson you. with oh, the scepter nice, strap. Babe. Oh, babe. I win, but... It was a good it, answer. It, it yeah, was it a was really a good, good answer. That was a, that was a pretty close one right there. Scepter strap just barely beat you out. Brian Wilson, our Patreon supporter. Um, it, Brian. Right, I, I know. <laughs> all right, the score is so far. Oh, wow. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm John, in last? Well, I'm, in I'm not in last. <laughs> we go right to round two. Hannah, see if, your, see if your thing picks up for round two. If it doesn't, Can hold you- on. Can she back hit back out? You can then... try to you can try to refresh. Well, wait. If it uh, see if it see if it goes in there. Oh, it's working! All right, oh, Hannah's back. Doing? Hannah's oh, back. Are we answering stuff? We are answering questions now again. So this is the same thing as last time. You have to answer two questions. Our questions. Your answer will go up against one other player, and the audience and the participants vote. Oh, I think I'm out of this one too. But at least I got a different screen. Oh wait, <laughs> what? Yay. <laughs> It's okay. I don't have fear of missing out. Yeah, you want to help? There's no spell check on There's here. There's no huh? spell check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
How much time do we have? 45 seconds. 45. <laughs> All right. We're going to we'll get, we'll get Hannah in for the pretty soon here. But we have another question. Uh, the audience here. playing along. Make up a word that describes the sound of farting into a bowl of mac and cheese. Some of the answers I see are splur, bean dip, group, group poop, scrump. No spell out. check. <laughs> Someone put as an answer. Dark horse. Valid. Splutchiny, splashy. Oh, come on. What? We have four seconds yet to answer. Terry Johnny, that would make a, that's the sound it would make. <laughs> uh, it's all right. All right. Here are our questions. An odd sequel to James and the Giant Peach would be James and the Giant Peach <laughs> Volume 2. James and the Giant's Kim and the Gigantic Butt. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, I muted you guys. I don't know how I mute you. <laughs> That's probably better that way. No, no, I didn't mute you. I thought if I muted them that I could hear them through your guys' thing, but I can't. No, we, we block all the f so it doesn't give you feedback on the way back. I out. win. Yeah. That was me. I nice, win. Yeah. Nice, nice one, Kelsey. Playing to the audience. I like it. Kelsey beats out Paul McBeth on that one. Yes, I pa do. Paul's going to have to lower his standards. He's going to have to start playing a little bit more to the audience, go, go a little bit bluer. <laughs> a dangerous thing for a drone to deliver to you. Your baby wins. That that was a solid one, regardless of what yeah. Hannah would have put. Yes! The worst song to be playing for your lap dance. Ooh. Hymns or Yellow Submarine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure which one is worse. Where is the lap dance? I mean, if the lap dance is in the confessional, <laughs> then maybe it's not so weird. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Nick, Nick Carl Let's with him takes this one. I had a bonus somehow. I don't know how the points are scored, but Nick got a bonus. The worst thing to admit during a sleepover. I positively have the Rona or I love your mom. Uh, yeah, what don't you want to hear? Do you want to hear like your best friend sleeping over says, you know, I really love your mom. Um, Or I've got the Rona. <laughs> We're going to see what the answer, what the audience takes. Personally, it would be Rona right now. Okay, that's not, that mic's not working. Oh, it's Johnny just like, squeaks that one Personally. Out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that mic's not too good. trying to talk really close. All right, we got our next question. The one job robots will never take from humans. Procreation or unloading the dishwasher? I, I'm, yeah, that's a, I think they might take Me. procreation someday. I'm not sure. I mean, neither. Yeah. Are... <laughs> One's more fun than the other. One I wouldn't want taken away. The other I would. Unloading the dishwasher from Kelsey. Taking that one over yeah! Dark Horse. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I didn't win. I didn't win. Yeah, you did. You did. Oh, oh yeah, I Kelsey. Won you, you got some the points. audience. You got the audience yeah. one though. You got you got the 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 you got us. Something you shouldn't yeah. say to a mafia. Godfather. I, uh, I think that might have been I love you or something. <laughs> Do I look like a clown? Do I amuse you? All right. We got to figure out how to unmute these guys. Wait, Hannah, can you talk? Oh, yeah. Their, their mute oh. thing is just... Uh, oh, hold on. Um, it's grayed out, unfortunately. <laughs> it's not like giving me an option to unmuting them. Oh, oh wait. Time. We've been... Oh, hold on. You, you guys are muted. You were muted for a few oh. minutes. Oh, nobody heard us. No. Yeah, you, they could hear. Oh, we couldn't hear oh, you for, for a little weird. bit. Oh, it's just plugged it in. Family. Oh. A catchphrase you probably hear on a sitcom called "The Poop Family." Did I toot that? <laughs> Holy shit, that's explosive. That no, one's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Beat me with dishwasher. <laughs> you won. I'm trying to take out. Uh, did I toot that? That one wins. Yes, that's me. 
Nice. Nice. Play, that was good. Plain just squeaking it out over Brian Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> did, I do the, well, did I do, did I do that? <laughs> All right, that's the end of round two. We're going to figure out the scores, where the scores were doubled. Round three will come in. It's a slightly different format where everybody gets the same question. And I'm every, getting everybody gets the answer. Everybody gets to vote on three answers. <laughs> Hannah, welcome. Hannah, it's, it's going to let you play, maybe? Yeah, maybe not Paul. Oh, hold on, Paul. It'll come up to you in a second, hopefully. All those are up. Yep. Just give it up. Mine's not up yet, so don't feel, don't feel too left out. Come up with a full name for the acronym OPF. This is everybody. Oh, audience. <laughs> oh, you're in the audience. <laughs> oh, I'm in the audience too. What the no. heck? Well, you guys didn't. You guys didn't make the final three. It's only the top dogs. Oh, that's good to do. I'm second. You're third. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to suck. I'm doing it. Wow. I'm in the audience. Wow. Trash. That is super trash to the audience. That is super trash. This is. Can we can we add more time? We uh, no. We only got twenty five <laughs> seconds. Twenty three seconds. So this is the final <laughs> round. This is the final round. After this, we'll come up with a new code and we'll let everybody join back in. Hopefully, all right. Actually, so Hannah can play her game because Hannah's. Uh oh, is Kelsey it. trying to Game influence? Is Kelsey trying to influence the answer? She was, but I'm not taking that I'm answer. I'm supposed I got... to be a part of the game. <laughs> hey, Kelsey, I'm, not... yes! I'm sorry, Kelsey. Who am I going up against? Uh oh, Dark Horse Brian's in it. All right, uh, all right, Brian Wilson. All right, now everybody gets to vote on three answers: your yes. top, Ooh. your third, your second, and your first. I'm not sure if that's the order it goes in, though. Come. <laughs> oh, I get to vote. I get to do something. Wait, I have to vote for someone else's? Yep. Which out of all of them do you like? Can I refuse the vote? No. Nope. The first one you vote for is the gold, the second one is the silver, and the third one is the one you like the, the least out of the three. So strategically, I want to vote for the best person. Oh. Some strategy. So wow. <clears throat> have you been paying attention to the chat at all? I haven't even looked at the chat. Uh, I will take a look at the old <laughs> YouTube's chats out there. Oh, it only let me vote for two. Uh, they yeah, are I saying, think it automatically grabbed the third one, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, because there's not enough. They are saying that this is an easy pick. I'm I'm assuming he's talking about mine. Thank you, Fairway Media. I gotta assume you like my answer the best. Which one there. did you do? Oh, we'll just wait and see. All right. <laughs> Man, I saw otter wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but outer. Oh, you that was supposed to be otter. <laughs> oh. oh yes. Oh, yeah. people's frisbees is a good otter, one. Other otter protection firm. Other people's frisbees. Yeah, right. you know me. Our final. We're gonna see what happens. Oh, you're gonna win because you took first there. Yeah. All right. This house wins. Wow. Yes, yeah, Smashbox in the hizo. All house right. of Smashbox, victory number one. Oh, yeah. screenshot and that. All right, we're gonna get a new. We're gonna get a new code. We're gonna give it to our contestants. Everyone in the audience will have a few minutes to join in. This way, everybody can participate and play. So we want uh, we want a full house. We want to get those. We want to get those zeros. Hopefully, we can get Terry using a quiplash. I see. Interesting. You got a quiplash. Is as that? That's what it is. I think that's when the audience and the the guests all pick the same or a majority. Yeah, yeah I think so. Oh, so, you want quiplashes? I think yeah. you want a quiplash. It's yeah. like Fine. it's my way of it's a bonus officially poning you guys. I think is what they mm. say. Well, is that is yeah. that still a thing? Do you pwn? No, I don't believe anyone pones anymore, Damn Terry. It. Oh right. no, they do. Go to pwn.com. <laughs> Uh, oh, she knows. Do not go to that website. <laughs> I do not. I, my household does not endorse that website. Oh, jeez. Do not go. No, there. it's getting hacked, right? Yeah, getting pwned. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do uh, new players here. Oh, all right, guys. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give our. All right, everybody's gonna go back in. I'm gonna give our new code to all of our guests here. Oh, How many people are watching? All right, here we go. We're going to have a new code for everyone. Fun some noobs. <laughs> oh, that's good. I missed. What is it? I just. I'm the one talking to that one. It's like that. 
Like is what like video like, games would say. Oh, come on. Like pwned you. Like if you just like headshot someone across the map. Oh well get, get pwned. Pwned.com is if you put your email in, it tells you how many times you've been hacked. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sarah's cracking up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I learned that from South Cowboys. They told us. I don't yeah, I don't know how you get that information, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not either. No. <laughs> no. Okay, wouldn't be bad. Only one. Girl person. power. Wait, what happens if you change your name? Does your score continue to go to? Oh, everything's yeah. white. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought it was a new game. Simon. Oh. Simon was hot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's got the, it's got the accent. <laughs> Wait, is that you, Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> I was muted. I had turned off that as you did, Terry. And uh, All right. Beast. All right. Wow. Right. So for our audience members, I just revealed the code. It's IJCU. Thank you for having me unmute us on this side. Um, all of our guests could hear us, but no one out in the audience could. Uh, congratulations. We got pwned.com, which I believe is Brian Wilson. Thank you, Brian, <laughs> joining the fun. Uh, Dark Horse, Nick, Michael Scott, Simone, Raven Simone, I'm assuming, as we yep. said, DG Guy, Kelsey, and J to the V, which is me. That's so, so Raven. Let's do this. Everybody's in. All right. Are we ready to start this game? All contestants ready. Sit back and relax. Let's do it. All right. So. Oh. 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 Nobody refresh your browser or you're going to get kicked out. Just keep playing the game. Just be patient with it. It'll catch Hannah up to Macbeth you. Macbeth has arrived, everyone. Here Welcome we go. to the game. You. We're all playing, it looks like. I, I'm hoping so. All right. Our first question. Here we go. All right. Brody's focused. He's got the hands together. Well, I, I'm keeping track. I got third place there. All right. And I got second. The, no, you did not finish second. That was yeah. one. It was one, you two got here. Bumped. <laughs> the the audience has the question says something a weatherman might yell if he completely snapped during the weather forecast. Oh, Hannah, one of these questions is built for you. Okay, I might question, Terry. Do the questions come in order? So, like, is the my second question going to be after my first question? Or is it completely random? I think it's completely I random. it's random, yeah. Oh, you... boy. <laughs> well, we'll see. So now that makes sense? <laughs> it might... Oh, boy. <laughs> my answer not make my, my sense. <laughs> We have 86 people in the audience. Thanks, everyone, who's playing along and joining in. It's much appreciated. The, our, our contestants have 25 seconds. We are waiting on three of our contestants to finish up. By the looks of it, it's Terry Miller, Hannah, and maybe Nick. Now we're down to two. All right. Don't be left out in the dark. You guys made it. Oh, oh there's, we're waiting on one. There it goes. Brian, it was Brian Wilson who we were waiting on, but he got it in just under the wire. Quick disclaimer, I didn't care for either of my answers. All right. A bad thing to hear after yelling hello into a deep cave. Is it me you're looking for or goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> what, what? What's wrong with Nick? Is he choking? Are you in? Oh, no. Hey, uh, oh, no. Kelsey. No. Wait. Oh, no. Wait, I need your vote. I need your vote. Well, oh, just hold on. Don't refresh or anything. Don't refresh your browser. Maybe, maybe you'll get. Oh, a... get lit! Let's go. <laughs> you definitely smoked me. Thanks for the vote, Nick, but it didn't do me any good. <laughs> Literally, we're singing that last night. I know that was the song we were singing. 
the worst thing to blurt out when you're watching a movie sex scene with your parents. Turn it up. <laughs> We've all been there. These are good. Those are both really good answers. Kelsey, is it letting you answer any of these? Ah, uh, Jackbox, why do you forsake us? <laughs> okay, I had really good answers. Well, the, that's probably why it crashed. Well, the good thing is, I think your answers were taken in there. It might just, you might just not be able to vote. Yes, I won! Audience, <laughs> audience. Oh, yes. Audience oh, takes audience. it. Okay. Nice hey, job. Was that was really close. That was a close one. Uh, a weird skill left handers are better at poning noobs <laughs> or absolutely nothing. <laughs> I think poning noobs is Brian, and I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Brian, we, we love you. <laughs> I voted already. Let's see. Poning noobs or absolutely nothing. The answer is DG guy said poning noobs, actually, but absolutely nothing is taking this one. It's called. Ooh. I tried, Terry. Nick smoked you. I, Dude, lefties are weird. I had nothing good oh, for no, that. That's, yeah. Weird. Yeah, nothing good. Nice on work, Nick. Nice one. Way to, way, to, way to rule, Terry. A great way to make friends in a steam room is to remove your towel and the answer is fart or wink and shrug. The, b- both of these are very good. I'm... One of them might be Paul because he's laughing. <laughs> You're saying Paul doesn't have a poker face. I thought it uh, <laughs> Wink and Shrug <laughs> takes that one. Hands down. Sorry, Kelsey. That was not. You're going up against Brian. I lost. Brian. Yeah. You're going up against Brian. Brian, Brian is killing it. That's why he's that's why he's one of our favorite patrons. How does Adele come up with those great songs? I feel like that was themed uh, from earlier, too. <laughs> <Someone moves. laughs> Could have, yeah, with the hello. And... Yeah. She yells into a cave. Hello, it's me. I've been wondering. That's, I can see now why Brody earlier had wanted to make sure they were in order. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I forgot you only have like 10 seconds. Yeah! <laughs> she yells into oh, a cave, on. taking that one. And you lose points? With yeah, why are both my questions about Adele? Well, they know something we don't. <laughs> Jackbox was in your phone last night. Always the I biggest won't. problem with the last Star Wars movie. Clones. Always the clones. Ray didn't fall in love with me. Oh, that could Seems be like a it. Nick that could, no, that could yeah. be it. Seems like a Nick answer. Uh, uh, Can I get Nick. bonus points for guessing that Nick? <laughs> you you I might. Knew it. Yep. yep. Look at, look, Nick just pulled out of his pocket. Oh, wow. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. God. What is that? That's Ray. That's, that was Ray. I know everything I need to know <laughs> about you. <laughs> what is that? I think the answer was creepy. That's what that, <laughs> that was. Right? Creepy. Creepy. A little known but fun moment at the Last Supper was when Jesus pulled out the gin and juice <laughs> bicep. or bicep curl. <laughs> was my bicep curl? I could, I, I could see, I could see Jesus rolling down some bicep curls. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> nice one, Jesus. Pull- nice one, Hannah. Hannah takes that one. Be- beating Kelsey. No. Look, ready, ready. Bye oh, you're not, girl. Hannah. You're not. Si- oh, 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 Paul is Simon. I thought, I thought Hannah was Simon. Wow. Nice job, Paul. Well Come done. On. Something every American would support Paul? is a national blank pipeline. <laughs> Hot dog or chocolate? Oh. This is a tough one. <laughs> Although the term I'm hot, how this hot would dog work. the, the term Those hot girls. dog pipeline, I think, has a whole nother meaning depending on what website you're on. That's <laughs> <laughs> a little different. Uh, chocolate from Pwned. Brian Wilson taking that one, and the audience vote. Congratulations, Brian. Well, absolutely, last. No. <laughs> Brian's sick. Brian, Brian's got Brian's it. Brian's got this. All right. All right after I mean, our first round, hopefully this will let Kelsey back in the game. Here, try to refresh it. No, I can't no, refresh. Don't refresh oh, again. don't refresh? Yeah. Sure. Oh, a Dark yeah. Horse in the lead Dark? by 10 wow. points over Brian. Well done, Dark Horse. Let's see if it, let's see if it joins so it you, Kelsey. It let you enter answers but not vote on them. Yeah. That's weird. Uh-oh. 
Michael right. Scott might not be. Or here. Might, as well, might as well try to refresh. Just why not? No, yeah. but maybe audience last time. Weird advice. Hold on. All right. Anyone getting? Are we getting questions or no here, Hannah? I got. I got questions. I got one. I did. Oh. Oh, Kelsey's in. Kelsey's in. Hannah, are you in? No. Ah, Kelsey got back in, but then Hannah got booted. <laughs> Come on. What a Come sexist on. show we yeah, have. Yeah, we here. can only this show can only apparently handle one. Too much girl power. Yeah, too much. Right? Oh my gosh. If anyone else has this question that I have, it is absolutely trash. <laughs> and I think we should put a number and uh, just let the fans aside. Just <laughs> believe it yourself. Believe. The troubling oh. thing to note it. Oh. Okay. That's a, what would make baseball more entertaining to watch? The Astros at bat, bouncy balls, floor is lava. Well, that's those are some pretty good answers. It's only letting me answer the freaking first question that the audience can play. So that means I'm audience. You're oh, audience. You're in the audience. I can't enter nothing. It says you can't enter nothing. Wow. Well, English. I have 10 seconds to think, please. Mm. <laughs> you can't break all things. What? <laughs> Wait, dude, I might not have entered it. I didn't even get to finish my last question. Oh, oh, oh no. That's a timing Those issue. questions are so hard. Th they were pretty tough. Weird advice from your grandfather. Don't take any wooden ducks. Thank God. <laughs> that you went on... What would have been your answer, Hannah? What would have been your answer? We could revote. Any wooden invitations to play Jackbox with all your friends because they're just going to leave you out of it. The worst place to put potato salad? Under the couch or in your mouth? This <laughs> <laughs> is a good one. Uh, uh, Waco 2017 says in the trunk, which is where one of our cameraman stored his potato salad. Yeah, I remember in that. In the hot trunk. Ugh. And then ate it later. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, oh, no one likes salad. Oh, Chad. Oh, oh, audience. The audience is is pulling the audience favorite. Proud. I don't know how. Oh. Under the couch. Well done. Well done, Paul. Oh, I didn't even finish it. <laughs> <laughs> well, under the couch is good enough. <laughs> Who is currently the 5,492nd ranked player in professional tennis? <laughs> Brody Smith or Lloyd Wiemann? I actually, I actually might be ranked that high. <laughs> I might. I'm pretty dirty at tennis. Oh, well, we, you know. <laughs> that was Kelsey's first date. She said she was dirty at tennis, too, not realizing that I actually was good. Ouch. Yeah. It was a great oh. first date. Oh. Did, now, did you just, like, slam it on oh. her? I mean, did you crush oh, her? Yes. No, I was feeding her the ball, no. and she wasn't able to hit it. <laughs> really a tennis person's worst nightmare. No. <laughs> Uh, assign your Roomba may be sentient. Sentient. I don't. I don't even know what that means. Uh, I don't know what that means either. So thank goodness we, we have uh, an answer. On Google and I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. okay. Like alive or oh, alive. Like, oh, here we go. <laughs> the I most common injury of the super <laughs> wealthy. <laughs> Bri or bil? <laughs> yes. Someone would. Wow. Someone felt it too. Is that you, Paul? Is that me and you? Yeah. Uh, Take your pick, baby. Can I vote wow. for neither? That's got to be. Is that an inside joke, boys? <laughs> no, neither one. I was trying to say brain, and I ran oh. out of time. What were you trying to say, Paul? Bicep. <laughs> <laughs> so brain spelled B-R-I instead of. <laughs> well, I, I, I wrote Brian. Deleted it. <laughs> and then ran out of time. <laughs> I should have kept Brian. <laughs> that would have been great. Uh... This one never votes for anything. And this one I doesn't get an answer time. about a time. And I'm just sitting here with a screen up. that says, sit back and relax. But I can't sit back and relax. <laughs> Carol Baskin. Uh, oh, I would have picked that one. Oh, that that's a good. Name. I would have picked that one, I would have picked that one. Anyway. That bitch, Carol Baskin's from down in Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I figured everybody would be looking yeah. for her. A name that would always make a teacher laugh during roll call. <laughs> Dick Hurts from Holden <laughs> or C, more butts? Oh, jeez. Those, those are good wow. ones. Those all are right, good right, ones. Right. <laughs> Hopefully all the kids are asleep right now. 
I know. <laughs> what? I'm from wow, man. Oh, going up against Brian. Oh, let's go. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. oh the audience. Worry. He gets the audience wow. vote, which is clearly worth oh, more, apparently. <laughs> Way more. Okay, he's just yeah, telling right. everybody what's so He's streaming this right now. And he's like, oh, this is my answer. I thought I was going to get old on that one. All right, that's, that's our round two. We're going to see who's in the lead right now. Still Dark Horse oh. in the lead with 300 oh. points oh. over Simon. Oh. <laughs> I hope when we have Simon on here, he makes his you're name in. Paul. You're in. Oh, I'm watching round No, you're one. in. The round three, last round. Round three. The last Everyone last. gets the same Everyone's prompt. going to get the same prompt. This is a word lash. Which I don't know what that means. Kids are going to get a word lashing. Come up with a clever insult using the word corn. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Oh. I think I've already saw your phone number, Hannah. (laughs) Where am I live? In the gallery, in the audience. We need girl power in this. This. Oh, oh, do you want to play Mario Kart online? Do you have your Switch? <laughs> yes, I do, Hannah. Friend me. I'll send you my friend request. Yes. Yeah, I'll definitely friend you right away. <laughs> you know how much, how many innuendos I could use with corn right now? Corn. <laughs> Can you, like, give me one? I, I have no idea. Oh. Oh. Uh. No. All right, we got oh, 10 no. seconds. Finish up your answers, folks, if you're in this. Uh-oh. Ten seconds. I gave it up. Three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> Ouch. Wow. That All one right. sucked. Come up with a clever insult using the word corn. The answers are Jeffrey, your face looks. If it was starving eagle, I still wouldn't eat it. Your mom looks like corn. Go corn yourself. Your legs look like corn on the cob. Oh, Jeff. Luckily, Horn. these were all bad. Yeah, they kind of were. The Jeffy Corns? What? <laughs> I was trying to think of something really like clever. I'm an idiot. Could it? <laughs> I was trying to think of like something about popcorn. I had a great one. What was it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Talk about things going sideways. Should we just go with a random, random audience here. member for our final, for our third and final game? Should we? <laughs> Should we kick Brian out? Thank you for joining, Brian. Should we and just let the first person to jump in? Brian is Brian is pretty filthy. Uh, Brian, yeah, Brian is good. Plus so. I'm in the audience right now. And I'm on the show. You're in. Oh, tw- come, on. Yeah. come on, be the winner. What? Go corn. Nice. Go corn yourself, oh. Nick. Oh. Nick, go corn Nick. yourself. Let's go. Let's see what Let's see what happens with Nick's score. Oh. Let's see what Nick did. Dark Horse. Nick, oh, need, Nick needs to make back. a huge comeback. Oh, he, he did! He does it! Oh, and Nick oh, takes oh, it oh, down. Well oh, done, geez. Nick! Mm. Oh, wow. Come and corn yourself. Nick you aces the now? final hole to take the win. Wow. Coming from behind. You feel the trend. First place, the DG guy. This is after two games. This was after two yeah, games. Cumulative. Yeah, this is two games cumulative. Oh. Oh, Michael Scott, 560 points average. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know. All right, everybody. We're going to do one more quiplash. We're going to try to get all of our contestants back in the game again. <laughs> oh, Cool. I'd love to know what that's like. Well, I know. Yeah, me too. Hannah, I hope you get to four digits this round. Hannah, do you have, do you have another device you want to try to play on? You're at four digits. You're good. Simone is above me. Uh, my favorite was when you were like Simon, like in Lazat. <laughs> what? Uh, let's do some new players. Wait, should I go back to Jackbox.tv? Yeah. You, sh- you uh, yes. should. I'm, 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 Everyone, if you head out to Jackbox.tv. So thanks for playing. Yep, I just started the new game, so. Oh, a new game. Are you back? I might be back. Hold on one second. All right. I remember to unmute ourselves this time. There you go, Johnny. I knew you'd get it. Um, I, once, you know what? 
Thank you, Brian Wilson, for playing along. We're going to open this one up to one of our audience members. Ooh. So it's literally going to be the first person that jumps on from the audience. We, we're not missing anyone? We're not where we are right now. So I'm going to wait. We got one more person that needs to come in yet. Okay. And Beyonce. I'll see Nick. J to the V, DG guy. There we go. All right. Mine was, wasn't on it. All right, so for the audience, be ready because the first one that gets on is going to be able to join our game with the wow. Macbeths and Nick and the Smiths. There it is. Oh, I'm in. The code is JFJT. First person to join in gets to play with us. Thank you, Brian Wilson, for being such a wonderful sport tonight. Um, if, if you'd like to be eligible to join these in the future, you can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash smashboxtv. I think next week we're going to try to get a few uh, a few other guests on, maybe – these guests are pretty great, but you know, every week we, you know, try to find some new people. All right, the uh, the person joining is Coop de Loop. Coop de Loop. Coop de Loop. I, I, was, I think that's a Mario reference potential. It could be. Oh no, that's spelled with a K. Yeah, that'd be Koopa Troopa or Koopa King. Yeah, Koopa might not be able to spell like me though, so who knows? That's true. All right, we are joining the game, everybody. So you just be need prepared. a Brian. I mean a brain. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I pray. If I only. All right, here we go. Coop Final round of best of luck to you. Good luck, everyone. Nick coming back to win in the last round, last game. Wow. Dark horse did not see that coming. Comeback victory from the ages. All right, answer on your phones or on your device right now. the The audience will be joining in with their own question. I'm All right. Whispering. I have I have my answers <laughs> in. The audience question is come up with the name of a book that would sell a million copies immediately. Some of the answers we have are how to play disc golf, how to do stuff, how to survive a pandemic, very topical. Crash from the top, the McBeast collapse. Ouch! How to cure the coronavirus when Brody beat McBeast. Is that a love story, you think, or is that could be. Could be. How to put could also be a nightmare. I right. That could be, yeah, that, that could be a horror story. Oh, no, I, no. Get rich now, COVID. Lots of lots of answers from our audience. Thank you, audience, for joining in. Best of luck. We have two people who have yet to finish uh, to join to do their answers. They have 25 seconds. What's in the box? Is it Nick? Nope, Nick's not. Nick, Nick, is, Nick looks like he's answered his. He's usually the one. Yeah, no, I did, actually. Yeah. Who is this person? I see, I see Hannah. Oh, it's Hannah. I see Beauty oh, and the Beast. Or she no. thinks she's so oh, I clever. Beyonce. I am Beyonce. Oh, oh, oh. Not, not any Beyonce. It's this quote when Michael Scott says, I am Beyonce always. <laughs> All right. The question. If Michigan is shaped like a hand, Texas should be shaped like a, a gun? Or click here to increase your circle one stats. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. That's a Nick answer. <laughs> <laughs> Click here to increase your circle one stance. It's great at wake up. <laughs> uh, Gun takes it and takes the audience. Oh, oh, yeah. Barely. 55%. That's Man, how is that that close? Oh, and wow. A 100 point bonus winner. Yeah, this is bonus. The worst person who could sing the James Bond theme. Dolly Parton or Adele? <laughs> Actually, Adele did do a James Bond theme. Adele? Yeah, what? Dude, Dolly Parton could be dirty, and though. Dolly, Dolly Parton could rock that. No, She's like not. 80 James or something. Bond, James Bond, James Bond, James Bond. <laughs> All right. The answer should have been Brody Smith, but we're going to go with Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> I've been singing a lot. I don't well, know what's going on. Well, Jub, well done, Coop de Loop. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he got it all. And the quiplash. Yeah, and the quiplash. Nice work. Ah. Nice work. That's our audience I was just member. playing on the previous theme. That's all. <laughs> a perplexing band would be Crosby, Stills, Nash, and... Perplexing Or Crosby, Stills, Nash, Young, and Wild and Free, or Macbeth. Perplexing. Uh, yeah. Am I supposed to know who these people are? I'm so are? glad oh, I didn't you know, this, know what this question because I have no idea who these people are. I literally only know four words in that sentence. <laughs> band, 
<laughs> and, and oh, <laughs> he's like it's oh. uh, all right. I, I went. I went with the the crowd favorite. Yeah. Got, Crosby, Stills, Nash nope. and Young is a, a kind of a country show. music band. Johnny V got that one. More of a folksy boy. kind of thing. Oh, Played for the easy answer. I went with the got easy it. answer. A good taunt to yell at zoo elephants at the yeah. zoo elephants. Peanuts for sale. Joe Exotic is coming for you next. Oh, we are. Wow. That is. But would it be Joe Exotic or would it be the uh, that other guy with the long hair? The ba- oh. Joey. Yeah, no, yeah, the guy has eight wives. Yeah, the guy who has eight wives is basically running a cult. Uh, yeah. Dante yeah. or Don Antel. Yeah, Don oh, yeah. Antel. Nailed it, Kelsey. Don Antel. How do you put that? <laughs> I would have put that one. I like what? your answer, Kelsey. I like your answer too, but. <laughs> what will you bequeath to your enemy upon your death? <laughs> Paul's putting ability or this is Sparta? Sparta. <laughs> why, would you want, why, why would you want to give Paul's putting ability to you, which is a good putting ability, to your enemy? Yeah, why would you want to give that to someone who's dying? I don't wow. know, but it was. Wow. <laughs> wow. That so was a very close, close one. Yes. That was a very it close one. It went split 2 2, and then the audience just yeah. barely yeah. broke the tie. Well, Paul's name. Yeah. <laughs> the most embarrassing thing that could happen at prom. Your mom goes with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Turning 43. <laughs> These are both amazing. <laughs> These are both really uh, nice, good. Yeah, definitely nice oh, work, you guys. Oh, gosh. That's great. This might be the answer of the night. Uh, with, nice work to both of you. Oh, I have oh, Beyonce. Hannah. Hannah, well wow. done. You deserve that one. You deserve that one over that me. That was a good one. I wish you were in more than one game with those answers. <laughs> Ouch. Thanks, man. We'll invite Hannah back next week to not play. It'll be fun. <laughs> the worst thing to say while being tortured, don't touch my nuglets, or does that feel good? <laughs> uh. Wow. I like the best say answers nuggets. to the worst answers. <laughs> how I say nuggets? Oh. I went. I, I, I went for the how no, it's how nuggets. it was spelled. That yep. maybe what Please. he meant to say. Kelsey oh. taking that one, oh, but nice. the audience, oh. the audience turning the tide. Nuglet. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Only son Koopa Troopa knows. What? <laughs> Sometimes Deadpool wishes he didn't wear such skin tight latex stuff and instead wore <laughs> Discraft hat with Dark Horse hat and Adidas shoes or potato right, salad. Anymore. Mine's not been loading at all. Again? <laughs> Hannah. It's the IP Hannah. address. You guys all share similar <laughs> IP addresses? I don't know. That's weird. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. quick last. Bring oh, it. Oh, Bring it. Yeah. Nice one, DG guy. All day. Wow, big points. <laughs> you, you, he wishes he wore potato salad? You know. All right. Our, our first round scores. Hey, Coop de Loop. Oh. Who invited that guy? Like, literally. Who invited right. that guy? <laughs> He's got the fast fingers. Why, are you, why. why are you bringing in people that are sick at this game? Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> right now, I have. Uh... All right. See if, your, see if your questions come up. Mine just came up. Audience play around. The audience play along question is a real weirdo would fall asleep to the sounds of. Oh, damn. Uh, I wonder what's going on. I know. I don't understand. I don't understand why. This, this, this barrier. I, mm. Oh, you're my opponent. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they're, they're they're sharing answers. They are questions. So. Well, Hannah's out, so we're yeah. Kind of Hannah's out. out, so we're both kind of oh, that's fine. Uh, Hannah, you didn't once get disconnected when we were playing the other week, did you? A couple weeks ago. No, and then I got invited to this, and I invited my friends, and now this is happening. 
Hannah, how about for the after show, we have you play, and then just like no one else. We'll, we'll make it all about you. <laughs> we'll see how your voting goes. About all right. 10 seconds ten remain. Seconds. We have three contestants that have not answered, which would be Hannah probably. Wait. So we got two more. There goes Macbeth. We got one more. Get it? Oh, Dark Horse just gets it in under the wire. Did I get it? Looked like you did. Just barely. Here we are for round number two of game three. I, I had nothing. What will be the hot new fashion trend in 2050? I, I Pick guess, the answer I or else or Dark Horse <laughs> merch. <laughs> If it takes him to 2050, I'm sorry, Dark Horse. <laughs> Awkward. That's when he breaks a thousand. <laughs> oh, wow. Dang it, I was gonna put something like that because I didn't have any clue. What the... <laughs> nice job, Terry. Yeah. But you're you're green. Oh, I've always been green. The perfect man is tall, dark, and. Putts like Paul McBeth or Putts like Paul. Coop de Loop taking that one. That's a good one though. Oh, that was yours. Never blink after applying <laughs> lotion. Ooh. Feed a tiger <laughs> or dip. <laughs> yeah. I can't put this one. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> was this the question you guys had together? Oh. Yeah, yeah. We, we both had nothing. That's a good one, though. I, I like Feed the Tiger. That's pretty good. Healthy Nick yeah. taking that one. 100. Ooh. Nick, do you have any corgi hair still on you after the visit to the Smith house? Yeah, actually, these joggers have needed like 18,000 bucks <laughs> to get them all off. Nick <laughs> taking the quiplash there with that answer. Oh, wow. The most awesome it's thing to say movie. before you dramatically flip a scarf over your shoulder. I do that all the time. Really? Do you say, I am your father? Or do you say, and that is how you wrestle a cow? <laughs> do either. <laughs> it's feels so good. Uh, Solid answer. Can we just have Hannah act them out? <laughs> yeah. Like, if, if she can't play, she can just act them like all out. Like charades. She'll be our. Are you Darth Vader? Ah. Sorry, Kelsey. Kelsey. Pwned, oh. I think, is the term. Hey. <laughs> yeah. po Pwned.com. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Why is each snowflake different? Santa farts are never the same, or because there can only be one sign of the side? I hope Simon's watching. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's great. Man. I'll take a loss to that. It's the freaking Koopa Troopa. Oh, that one was really close. Yeah, that was a great freaking. It's Koop de Loop. Koop de Loop. Like... We can call him Koopa Troopa. We don't mind. Uh, who on the board there is uh, Koopa Troopa? <laughs> He's crushing it. He is. Leal yourself. <laughs> a terrible drill sergeant would constantly yelling, let's go. No, seriously, let's go. <laughs> Jerry's in first place right now. I, he can't be getting these easy points. I, I know. I hate <laughs> oh, it. There's nothing worse than I have to hear about him winning for the next week. <laughs> Bagels should change their name to Brody Smith's or Don't Adopt Me, <laughs> I Bark Loud. I think they thought that meant be <laughs> Beagles. Beagles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm voting for it anyway because I like it. Is that Kelsey's answer? <laughs> <laughs> She, she also. Okay. Oh, Did she is... actually think it was Beagles? Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise, it's even weirder. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's good. Oh man. All right. The weirdest thing to brag about at a high school reunion. What have you been up to? Oh, just a little thing called. Just a little pig wrestling, or just a little thing called mermaid. Oh my god! Just a little thing called mermaid. That was really funny, Kelsey. That that's the that's the point of the night right there. Uh, 
I didn't even vote. I'm still. <laughs> both both oh. of my answers were wrestling. One was cow wrestling. One was pig wrestling. <laughs> Johnny B gets the quiplash over Mr. McBath. <laughs> that was the end of round. Was that round two? <laughs> I don't even know. Yes, that was round two. Coop de loop right now. Looking like he is still in the still in the lead by twenty points over G. Okay. All right, we got our third and all right. Final this is round. it. As Nick will tell you, this is where it all. This is what matters. matters. This is what matters. This is what matters. <laughs> Everybody, get ready. Hopefully, it's not too much reading over here. <laughs> reading, spelling, whatever. Brian, Brian. We're, we're a bad family. Wait, you were a cheerleader at one point, right? No. <laughs> wow. I can still go. Come on. C I can still buy in. I can still win. Oh, uh, yes. We have the same thing. Yes, please. No, no, no. We can't. <laughs> because of three. No. <laughs> Don't do it. Dang. Wow, so I have 26 seconds. Keep thinking before I submit. Only three letters to, to have to read here. I only have one answer. <laughs> huh? That's what I keep doing. Yeah, one answer. You my... just have to give your best. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds for the for our people who have not submitted their answer yet. Six. Oh, everybody's in. <laughs> Hannah, did it let you play <laughs> that? Cool. It's all about the letter Welcome back, back in to the, the game. Last... Uh, well, maybe you could still win this. Oh. Nicholas Come up with the John flame. Co <laughs> no, I don't see mine. Wait. Well, what? I wouldn't see it. Yeah. Oh, no, you wouldn't see it. Which one is yours? All right, I got my three answers in. We see no jump oh. butt count. Nothing just create a way to destroy my enemy. He's Nick juiced out of his mind, Carl. Nicaraguan juice chickens. Oh, they went away. So we're going to see who here has some of the best uh, answers. So disappointed. Uh, it looks like Macbeth with the third. Macbeth with the second. Macbeth with the first. I think I think Ninja's juggling uh, is going to win this one. Kelsey for 500. I am Beyonce. Terry with 2,000. Uh, Dark Horse 2,500. Johnny V, 3,000. Well, Coop to loop 3,500. Macbeth I'm so with four far back. I can't win though. Mine was nothing. Uh, nothing. Just creating a win. The best acronym is Nicholas John Carl. <laughs> That's me. NJC. That is me. How no, that you know? Nicholas juice out of his mind, Carl. <laughs> That's 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 pretty Coop great. Coop to loop. Coop to loop. Our our viewer. Congratulations. Wow. Wow. You 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 rock that. Remember not to invite the chat anymore. Coop yeah. For beagles. He was sick. Remember not to invite the chat anymore. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. Wait, so he beat us in one round. I had three rounds and he crushed me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. JB had the highest average score though by a lot. Seventy five hundred. Deserves a prize. That's I get to come back next week. That's the prize. <laughs> Hannah, you got four digits. Yeah. yeah. Four Yay. Digits. Yay. Oh, wow. It was great. <laughs> All right, guys. So <laughs> what did what did we learn here tonight, guys? that? What did we learn here tonight? Brody says stay in school. Kelsey, what did you learn tonight? That bagels are not beagles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. And you wouldn't want a bagel flavored beagle? Or a beagle flavored uh, bagel. What it, what it, <laughs> Either <beagle> one. Bagel. <laughs> what with the broad what? way? Wait, which one's which one's better? <laughs> I want a beagle that tastes like a bagel. What? 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 More than a bagel that tastes like a beagle. I, I, yeah, I don't know. When would you ever lick your dog to find out if it tastes? You don't know. Maybe your beagle tastes like a bagel. Have you tried? I'm just saying, if you had to pick one or the other to eat, I'm taking a beagle that tastes like a bagel. If I'm going to eat something, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to suffer. Bagel that tastes like a beagle. I'm going to suffer through the bagel that tastes like a tastes like a beagle because I don't want to eat a beagle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you want. We're not starving over here, guys. We're going to make some mac and cheese. 
Keep doing it. You've got it. We're right. gonna have some mac and cheese and potato salad tonight. All right, let's let, let's hear a little <laughs> bit from the Macbeth House. How are you guys doing right now? Good. I think we still need better Wi-Fi so we can all play this game. That yeah. could that could be. I an think issue. it's because I was locking her phone. It's Jake's phone. Oh, oh yeah. Now we know that could that could disconnect if you were locking your phone. Yeah, or something. Oh, her out. Just <laughs> Ouch! Wow, Nick oh, calling her oh. out. Oh. Throwing some shade. Nick. Are we gonna have to call now? Uh, Hannah, I do you feel like you that... need a another another go at this? Like next next game night, you need to be specifically included because you need another go at this. Sure. Go to Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, right now. Hang outside Starbucks. Yeah, while that treats you. Uh, how's how's everybody doing with your uh, with your sheltering in place? Everyone doing okay over there? Yeah, we're just we're building a course, so that's keeping us busy. Yeah, I feel like ours isn't too bad. It just more busy. feels like off season 2.0, and we're not near a city, so everything's. I mean. Like I can still go to the park. Our disc golf parks aren't closed or anything like that. Like it's not been too difficult. Just the grocery stores are really busy and weird, but sure. You have enough toilet paper? Yeah, we do have toilet paper. <laughs> okay. Wow, disc golf rich right there. Nick, you got any? Have you been hanging out with these guys quite a bit? What's that? Been here like two weeks, I think. Yeah, uh, about. It was kind of like right before Virginia went into the whole stay-at-home order. It was like three or four days before that. And uh, so, yeah, I think it's been about just about two weeks now. Yeah. Okay. So now, but now Massachusetts is kind of like panicking with everything going on because Boston, Mass. is getting a ton of cases, and it's actually transferring over into Worcester, Mass. right now, which is where I'm out of. And so luckily, though, my job – most of our job sites that do construction, most of our job sites got deemed not essential. So I'm just kind of in off season 2.0 now. Cool. He just Nick? drives a tractor right here, basically. Yeah, I just I drive I drive the tractor and do a ton of course work, which is what is really what is the one thing that you're looking forward to the most after quarantine is over? Is that for everyone, or just no? I mean everyone. <laughs> just Nick. <laughs> Like, what are you specifically looking forward to? Like, oh, I'm going to do this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going, out, going out to the clubs again. <laughs> Hit up the clubs. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not looking forward to that. No. Well, I think my life has, won't even change. Like, I mean, I'll be playing disc golf tournaments, but I'm, I'm fine with this. Yeah. Yeah. Got to go out of things that yeah. I've always wanted to. Yeah, finally, I'm, finally seeing a spring. Paul is like super introverted, like naturally, and I'm extroverted. So we have a gym at our house that he uses, and I go to like group exercise classes, and I can't do that. And then I have like grocery store runs that I do all the time, and I can't really do that. You have to like do it less. And just like, I just want to be out and like in groups of people, and I really miss like being in groups of people. <laughs> So, hey, yeah. Nick, I'll, I'll refrain from I, I, any I jokes say, there. <laughs> yeah. Nick, do you have a social media? I think everybody knows most of these other guys' social media. Do you have a social media that people can follow? I do. It's on Instagram, at Disc Golf Nick Carl. And then on Facebook, it's just Nicholas Carl. Okay. Right. Fair to use. Now, <laughs> I've got so, one for Brody and Kelsey. I was gonna say, you guys yeah. are typically a lot more active. Of course, you've been disc golfing and, and taking it very seriously, and I know you're planning on traveling to tournaments and playing in as many tournaments, but outside of just disc golf, you guys are probably the busiest people among us all. What what has changed for you guys in terms of uh, endorsements, yeah. promotions, <laughs> travels? Like, what's changed for you guys? Yeah. I mean, everything well, has, but how does that affect you? Yeah, I mean, you? it's it's a kind of a crazy landscape for us. I mean, it kind of it's kind of what Paul was saying nice in a way, I guess, because it was going to be really difficult to do all those things while I was trying to travel to play disc golf tournaments. Um, like we were going to basically fly straight to Aruba and then I was going to fly straight to Jacksonville afterwards for the tournament. Um, and then we had a, we had a trip to Cabo as well. And then we had a couple brand deals that we were supposed to doing that are basically all on pause right now. So it's kind of wild. I think there's a lot of people that are still able to kind of 
continue to do some social media stuff, but a lot of the companies are kind of just putting a hold on everything. So everyone's just kind of sitting back and, and seeing what's going to happen. Do, do and I know like advertisements on YouTube right now are down a lot. And I was just going to say, yeah. do you assume that once things get back to whatever the new normal is, that those brand deals and and promotions and things like that, do you think they'll pick back up or do you think everything's going to be a little bit slow because of the economy is just running at a slower pace? It's Whoa. it's it's going to yeah. be interesting to see what companies like what companies decide to do because it's almost like everyone's starting at the same level. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see how companies uh, divvy up their money because obviously a lot of companies are going to have to put a lot of money to get the company back running. Mm -hmm. But I think there's there could be some companies that make a jump on some others by putting a lot into marketing right away. Um, but it's going to be interesting. So many people lost so many jobs and it's just going to be really interesting to see kind of how the whole economy bounces back from it because it, it's, I think it's a lot worse than some people are claiming it to be. Now, Kelsey, I know I like one of your previous Instagram tweets, you were uh, rounding up goods, working with a pantry and, and uh, you know, having donations. And I know you guys have uh, also submitted other things for donations is that something that you guys are going to be able to continue to do or do you have a, any specific goals in mind or, or organizations in mind when you guys are uh, going out and trying to be helpful to everybody? So once I started to think about it and it was brought to my attention at the beginning of COVID-19, um, once I dipped my feet in it a little bit and really realized that, you know, because, okay, so I'll just kind of give a example to the audience of, what I was raising money for, I was raising money for um, this organization called Love Packs. It's a organization in North Texas, and it, it is a pantry, essentially, for um, children that rely on food, um, lunch, and dinner for, well, breakfast and dinner, mostly lunch because the school provides it for them. But breakfast and dinner, it's provided from them for this organization. Sorry, I can't hear myself talking to myself but um it's provided from them for this organization so essentially at the end of the day at every end of the school day that they will give a basically a dinner for their family not just them and they will get it from this organization that's provided from either the city or donors so i found this organization got don got donations and um, went to Costco, got a bunch of food. All of the items that they need are uh, listed on their online website. So I just got all of those items, rallied all that up, and then donated it to a um, distributor, basically, that brings it to the actual location. And there are three ways to donate to Love Packs in North Texas, is to donate money online via PayPal or your credit card. You can uh, do what I'm doing is going to Costco and you can get all of the needs that they need, rally them up, bring them to them, or you can pack lunches for the kids. So that's essentially what I'm doing. Still doing it every other week. I'm running to Costco, getting all the stuff that they need and uh, just kind of delivering it to them. Uh, I don't really get updates on text of what they need specifically but that's just kind of what i've been doing awesome yeah i i know i saw that and i know uh, when you guys were doing your putting challenge at the house and brody you were live streaming it to a thousand that then you guys were making i think you made at least one donation i saw to the red cross so i know you guys have been doing uh things of that nature uh which is awesome to see is there uh i'll say brody paul do you guys talk often about the next new challenge you guys have both been putting out more content brody it's almost daily or even more sometimes more than once a day you're filming stuff do you guys kind of talk about oh this would be a fun challenge hey why don't i do it first and then i'll challenge you if you guys plan any of that stuff out or you just keep playfully calling one another out back and forth i feel like we've been talking more about the ufc lately than... <laughs> okay okay <laughs> no. And I know we haven't had our talk yet. I was going to probably talk to him later about that because it's kind of sad. But um, no, I, I, I hit him up about the perfect putt thing. And then he's like, OK, I'm just going to get a perfect score. And I'm like, all right. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. Just squash it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. I think yeah. I think we just mess around with it, whatever they come up with. He he the video that he just did with the foundation guys made me think of a new video that I want to do. Uh, and then me and Kelsey also just try to film a video. With hit, we need don't to do don't it. say anything yet. But uh -oh, uh -oh. Keep it. <laughs> we try to film a video and we're like, okay, we need a way to film this with Hannah and Paul. So uh, you know, there there's a long list of video ideas that I have. Um, and when all this settles down, I think we can start cranking some more out. But for right now, it's, it's, it is getting difficult to be like, uh, what do we film next? What, you want to watch me putt 10,000 times in my garage? <laughs> yes. No. I'll go through three yes. bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> as long as Taco Bell's at the end, right? Uh, oh, yeah. TV makes everything better. It yeah. did. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. I don't want to bring up TV and have Hannah not get mad. Tom Brady and all. I, I know what, you know, hey. this transition. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hannah, how much influence do you have? <laughs> Jeez. Have you had any good feedback, input, influence as to uh, uh, what's been going on here? This, Terry? <laughs> um, what did you say? Uh, do you bounce ideas off of uh, off of everyone else? I mean, you're. I know you're usually doing the heavy lifting here. You do most of the editing, right? So are you bouncing yeah. ideas off of people? I think what people really want to see from Paul is just more content of him being a beast. And um, he has this one video on his YouTube channel, BC Before Croak, um, that's like 50 plus one putting. Mm -hmm. And it has like unreal amounts of views on it. And it's just him in Oklahoma in like a garage or a barn or something just like putting um, like how many times? Like fifty, 50 times. <laughs> 50. <laughs> 50. I know, Plus I one. Like, and then there's one more. more. <laughs> then the dunk. Yeah. Have you seen the video? From how far away? <laughs> it's like twenty-seven feet. Okay. So, anyways, it's just unreal. It's like not. They just, people just want to see that. They want to see him working hard and working out, and they. Um, they want to see that on his channel, but they also really like the characters that are on our channel too. Like they want to know more about me and they want to know obviously like the behind the scenes of Paul and see him come out of his shell. And now we have like Nick here and he's our best friend. So they want to see him. And it's like, honestly, when we came off the road, we looked at everything that we've always said, Oh, if I had time, I'd love to do that. And we, for the last month, just been doing those things. Like I built a garden or my dad built me a garden. And so I like planted things. Paul has been working out, you know, doing ideas with the guys in foundation and now foundation is with Supreme flight. And like, you know, they've been doing things like that and he's been talking to Brody and Discraft and then he's been on the course. And so he's been, we've been really busy, but we just got a new camera and now we're going to start putting out some content just honestly for entertainment purposes, like for people to just sports are like a distraction for a lot of people and there's a lot going on. So I think my purpose for the next couple of weeks is to just put stuff out there that people can just take their minds off of what's going on. I'm not thinking like, Oh, this could be my side hustle. It's just like, how can we, you know, help and just show like little things that are happening that people want to see. So cool. Yeah. I already commented on your last video, Paul, with the perfect putt and said you screwed up the game because in order to be eligible to win anything, you have to improve on your score. And so you pretty much just took yourself out of the running. I have three scores on my, I downloaded the app. A day ago, <laughs> two, wow. two, two days ago, yeah. It's got you get stats. used to it, Kelsey. You get used to it. <laughs> They're just gonna rename the app. It's gonna. It's now the McBeth putting app. Uh, what no, are... I want to just let everyone know. I sit in the garage, and while Brody Brody puts, I write down on a uh, on the board you saw on the live stream. If you were a part of the live stream, uh, how many putts he made from that feet? He skips obviously what 10, 15? Yeah, when I'm like doing 25 feet and 30 feet, yeah. And I sit there and I just yeah, you take my protein track. shake and I just you write track. over my shoulder and I'm like, this is great. <laughs> oh. Kelsey, I know, yeah. I know you just played your first, uh, you know, your first disc golf in the last uh, couple months here, but you're the only one out of all of us that doesn't play in a tournament at all. When when is your first tournament going to be? <laughs> 
a charity <laughs> tournament. Okay, what when is that going to be? I mean, everybody at every level has everybody plays somewhere, starts sometime in a tournament. Novice? Sure, what's I that going to be? I, I, no. Wow. Rack, rack, rack. Rack. no, it t- technically goes novice then rec, Brody. So, oh, novice is the lowest. Yes, novice, novice, novice. 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 Okay, probably novice. She'd I be mean, good yeah. in like the champs versus chumps thing. Okay, there okay. we go. Yeah, I don't want to play against Hannah. Just don't. <laughs> well, Hannah's a professional, so that's 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 fair. <laughs> Please, <That's right. laughs> we'll we'll get to we'll get a pro am together. Harry, what yeah. about me and you? <laughs> oh, calling out Terry. Uh okay, sure. <laughs> we could we could uh we 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 could go against one another. I, I tune in. Four hands only. It's there you, there you go. Only. We've we've got the live equipment and we can we can do it. We can stream it live. If we win four hands only, then and then anyone has a shot to beat me, that's for sure, no matter Most what. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh why don't you go ahead and tell all of our audience members, where they can find you, your social media handles, your physical home address, all that other good stuff. <laughs> your credit card numbers. All your, your social security. <laughs> yeah, Hannah, this is where you tell everyone your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's start over with Nick. Let's, uh, let's start with Nick. Let's hear it again, Nick. At Healthy News. All right. So, yeah. At Disc Golf, Nick Carl on Instagram. Uh, Nicholas Carl on Facebook, and I don't have a YouTube channel, so look for me in Simon's vlogs, Foundation vlogs, Paul's vlogs. Oh, he's got a reaction. He's got a reaction I do have video. A, re- I have a reaction video coming out soon, so does. be ready for that because it's actually hilarious. I'll share it on mine. All right, perfect. Hannah? Uh, um, you can look for me anywhere in this area right here next oh, to this gosh. man. <laughs> <laughs> Social distancing. Social distancing, please. Right here on the screen. Secrets still make friends. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm on Instagram, at Hannah E. McBeth underscore. And on Twitter, I'm way more active, and it's way more fun on Disc Golf Twitter, um, at Hannah E. McBeth. I think mine's just Paul underscore McBeth, I think, for Facebook, Twitter, Sky. Instagram. And then Skype. I don't. I, well, I don't know what her Skype is up here, but that's. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then YouTube, just Paul Macbeth. So we're we're we, like Hannah said, we got the new camera, so we'll be pumping out some content here uh, shortly. Yeah, Kelsey. Uh, I wish it was Kelsey Smith, but Kelsey Smith is taken on Instagram. So unfortunately, it's Kelsey Lowrance, uh, L O W. But hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get in touch with Instagram and get Kelsey Smith. We'll pay, if you're watching, Kelsey Smith will pay you 50 rupees. <laughs> 25 fruit bucks. Hey. <laughs> wow. Why, and, wait, I have something to say. Brody, why are you playing crossing with me? <laughs> you bought the game. You told me that we were going to play and hang out online on Animal Crossing. And you never play with He's a quitter. Why? It's like the same really thing have- over and over again. I got, I got. I might I got take out. over Hannah. I got out. Know. I'm out. <laughs> Kelsey, can, Kelsey can take over to Dark Horse Island. Dark Horse Island. Of course. And Brody, as, as if uh, everyone hasn't already found you, where might they find some of your social media and what, what are you I'll working take on? This, yeah, I'll take this time to actually just say, let's protect our forest, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. it's valid. They just closed ours down in Wisconsin because people were littering and vandalizing them. Yeah, so we need to protect them out Protect there. the forests. Yeah, so really? a lot of disc trees. golf courses. Yeah, a lot of disc yeah. golf courses could be made in these forests. So let's protect oh. them. That's right. There was too much gathering, and people were not being respectful of the state park. So our governor said, "You're done. Stay yes. home." Cool. I know. I just feel like Smokey the Bear needs to be out there more. He does. We haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> yeah, only you can protect. Your forest. Okay. And we're preventing forest fires. All right, guys. Well, we want to thank all of you guys for joining us tonight. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. When we have the Tournament of Champions, well, you won't be involved, but when we have the Tournament of Champions, you guys can watch. <laughs> we'll just, bring Nick in. Yeah, we'll bring Nick won one. <laughs> uh, no, in all seriousness, we do appreciate it. This is just our second night of uh, going at it, and we'll uh, we'll continue Please rocking this out. don't phrase it like that ever again. <laughs> You should, hey, Terry uh, and John, you should bring in a Dark Horse card. Oh, Dark Horse card. What, what does that even mean? Yeah, what does, does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. Are you having like a 
like a final podcast of all the winners of this round? Uh, We say we are, but let's be honest, we probably won't. Yeah, we say a lot of things. It'll probably, probably a fan vote. I have two in. Yeah. Why not? Valid. The fans, the fans roll, run the show. That's as right. long as you let your beagle join in, we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Depending on how it tastes. Just bring that up. <laughs> your beagle tasting bagel. Or bagel tasting beagle. <laughs> All right, guys. We do appreciate each and every one of you. Seriously, thanks for uh, joining us tonight. We hope the fans enjoyed it. We hope you guys stay safe. And, uh, Hopefully, we'll see you out on a course uh, post-COVID. Sooner than later. See you guys. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Take take care. Bye. See ya. Bye. Let's go. (laughs) Right now on on the stream. (laughs) Just put your number in there. All right. Again, thank you to our uh, super fun guests that were joining us here tonight. Uh, Pretty, uh, yeah, seems like a good time. It was. It was a lot of fun. A, A good a good group of people. How tough would it be for us to hang up on them? Oh, I could hang up on them just like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. they're, what they're watching. <laughs> As they were trying to uh, razz us they from were. the green room. It's become a, a fun thing for our guests to do when we go off of their shot. Only we can hear them, and they, they, they like to try to distract us. <laughs> uh, Johnny put an end to that. Mm, All right. I don't have really too much else. We hope that you guys uh, enjoyed it. Somehow we played like one or two less games than last week, and we still went about the same amount of time. Well, it took us a little longer to get started. That's Uh, true. Paul was having some tech issues, and then having to restart each game probably added a little bit. And then we talked to our guests for a little while afterwards, too. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and call it. Uh, We've got some other exciting things coming up. I know a lot of you guys have already heard uh, from Johnny directly or uh, seen it out there in some other social media posts that the the other component or another item in the works, Johnny V, has assembled shots from a tournament that spans over a a number of years so uh we'll lay it out and say we could use simon lazat playing hole two at the disc side of heaven from 2017 and then put that together with garrett girthy playing hole two same course from 2016 along with kevin jones playing that same hole in 2018 randomly throwing those shots all together to kind of create a live live foursome and then uh, put that out as an entire round along with some live commentary Uh, i had someone just today reach out and said uh they said they were really excited about it and they didn't realize that it would also be commentated live uh over again so figured we'd try something different we haven't really done that in a while where we just did a live round commentary almost uh like a follow along with the I think we I think we said Simon was probably going to hopefully join us. Yeah, and absolutely none of us have any idea of really what the outcome is going to be because I'm know. not about to watch this footage of all these random shots and yeah. so when uh, I edited like it together and I don't know who won <laughs> because you when you're as for those of you that can uh, attest to when you're editing, you're just throwing shots together. I did a little bit of organization with some of them and that was about it. I have no idea what who had more shots or score, but Think about it this way. They're all from some top cards, so all the scores are going to be pretty good. So it should be a close match. And I don't know what we're going to do if there's a tie. I need to think about that. <laughs> we're going to have to have a virtual playoff. A virtual playoff. <laughs> a quiplash. A well, quiplash. Yeah, it'll be a fan vote as to what was the best shot uh, throughout the 18 holes, and maybe that's what we'll decide in uh, case there is a playoff. So look for that to uh, come out in the next, possibly the next few days. Uh, our first co-commentator is scheduled or locked in to be Simon Lazat. So we'll double check with Simon's schedule and then we'll probably give that to you in a prime time hour as well. Uh, it could be as early as maybe a couple nights from now, maybe even Saturday night or Sunday night. We'll have to see uh, what the schedules look like, and then uh, maybe we can present that to you guys. Or maybe we could do it just before our podcast on Tuesday night and then go into our show. I'd like I guess to try we'll a to... different night. Okay, well then uh, fun. we'll reach out to Simon and see we, what we can get figured out. And then also on a, a Disc Golf Guy, vlog, personal note, I've got some bonus footage. I've been talking to none other than Kevin Jones, who was our guest just the other night on the podcast, and uh, him and I have put out uh, some commentary over some bonus footage from 2019 as well, and uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy that. So we've got content coming. I'm not going to make 6,000 putts in a row like Paul McBath, but... uh, (laughs) I couldn't do that from 10 feet. No, you couldn't. (laughs) Okay, could. I could. For Johnny V and myself, Terry Miller, the disc golf guy, along with our very gracious contestants, Kelsey, Brody, Nick, Paul, and Hannah, thank you guys for joining us. This has been Smashbox TV's game night number two. We'll see you next week when you step inside the Smashbox.